What's up, Sakpasa y que tal, mis amigos? It's your boy, Jam, and today I'm gonna show you how to save, not just make, transparent backgrounds for your everyday usage. You're probably wondering, what would I use this for? Well, I'm gonna show you. Let's say you've been getting in your graphics bag and you just made some type of graphic, some motion art, or it's just something that you can put on top of a video and or a stream. If you can get creative, you can do a lot of things Trust me, but it can get quite annoying if you have to use ultra keys, chroma keys, screen techniques, just to get the background removed from a video or a graphic every time you want to use it either on top of a video, on top of OBS. And it might not be annoying if you're used to removing backgrounds from things. This is just a way to speed up your editing flow. It can get quite annoying and just be an extra task altogether to have to keep removing the background every time you want to use a graphic or video on top of your other graphics or videos or streams. Now, I don't know if there is a functioning equivalent in other NLE softwares. The one I'm showing you now specifically works in Premiere Pro. All you have to do once you finish creating your video is go into the export tab, okay? You're gonna go into format and change it to QuickTime. Whatever it's at currently, you can change it to QuickTime. I don't usually render in QuickTime, but for this technique, as I know how to do it, you're going to render it in QuickTime, okay? Then you're gonna click preset and scroll down to change it from whatever it is, whether it's default or it's uh, matching the scene or whatever the case may be, to GoPro Cineform with Alpha, okay? Now, if you don't see it, you're just gonna scroll down and click like more presets, and then you're just gonna type GoPro or scroll down and search for it there. It'll be there. Trust me. Lastly, you're going to want to make sure that the quality is set to five. You know what? If they would let me do a quality at six, I would do it. But you want to bring it to the highest quality possible just to get the best results possible. Now, it might take a little longer for your computer. I don't know. But for me, it's not that big of a deal to render a 4K file like this. And so that's what I'm going to do. Next, you just hit export and bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. And it's as simple as that. There's no crazy technique you have to use. You do that one time and you're good to go. Now let's test it out just to make sure I'm not leading you astray, okay? All right, so here we go. We have this project here. And as you can see, these are the graphics that I created, but we're going to go ahead and disable these so they won't count. You won't be able to see them. This is the background that she currently has. And if you bring in the new video we exported, you'll see that it put the graphics on top of the video. Now, if I remove it, if I make it invisible, you can't see it because it doesn't exist. And when I click it back, here it is. So the graphics are literally invisible. So anytime you want to use these graphics on any background, you can literally just place it on there and you'll be just fine. It's pretty convenient and make things easier for the future. You don't have to go chroma screen it, ultra key it, remove the green screen and things of that nature, which also means you don't have to worry about the edges. Cause sometimes when you use a green screen or a green screen effect on a video or a project, it has the little like rough edges because whatever software you're using may not cut it out just right or it doesn't see all the green or it just, it's just a little fuzzy so this is just allowing you to streamline your process in the future so you don't have to worry about maybe i put the right amount of um sh shading or put the right amount of blend mode to make sure that the edges are, like this takes all that out of it you make the graphics you save it with an invisible background and you're good to go yeah man that's pretty much it if this tip was useful for you then go ahead and like if you have any questions about future tips or questions about this that you didn't understand then comment below and let me know and if you want to learn more whenever i think of things that just drop to you guys then just go ahead and subscribe even if you don't want to learn just still subscribe it's not gonna <laughs> it's free it's wrong. but anyways until next time I've been up since like 3 a.m. I don't hear the hate, what y'all say ain't in. All I know is go, all I know is grind. I'm on your head, so all I know is climb, just know I'm different. If I see the target, just know I'm gonna hit it. I don't know the fake, just know I live it. Anything I say, just know I'm in it. I know the ops and they lightweight. I'm in the zone and I might stay. Yeah, I'm on in the right way. Check the scoreboard, look why I play. They say sky the limit, that's too low for us. We showing up in the nosebleeds of the galaxy. When you think it's great, look, it's actually me. Yeah, it's actually me.